Hello everybody! Today we're going to continue our lesson with the topic of problem solving of fraction. And we're going to do this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. Before we begin, I would like to give you some classroom reminders. Please set up your study space and be ready. Set up your study space that can at least avoid you being distracted when you are having your learning session. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to name the fractions according to the problem solving question. You should be able to name the fractions according to problem solving questions. Now, let's begin by reading the questions together. Ravi gave one portion of the watermelon to his neighbor. As shown in the picture, state the fraction of the watermelon given. Before that, you may refer your mathematic workbook part 2 and turn to page 6. You may refer to your Mathematic Workbook Part 2 and turn to page 6. Now, we're going to continue reading the questions and find the clue. The clue in the questions are the word one portion, the word the fraction, and the word given away. Look at the picture here. The word one portion, the word the fraction, and the word given away. Now, I'm going to explain to you what is the meaning of one portion in the question. One portion means one from the equal parts of an object. In this case, one part of two equal parts of the watermelon. Next, the word given away. In this question, the word given away indicates the meaning or given away gives the meaning of shaded region or colored region or missing part. In this case, the given away is one part of the watermelon. One part of the watermelon is given away to the neighbor. Now, how about the word fraction? How about the word fraction? The word fraction indicates number or terms used for the shaded region of the equal parts. I'm going to show you how we're going to write the number for this question. In the question said, one of the portion is given away to the neighbor. This will indicate the shaded region will be 1 over 2. This is the, the number of the fraction. You write the number on the top. We do the line and we write number 2 at the bottom as we have two equal parts of the watermelon. The fraction in the word, we're going to say 1 over 2. 1 over 2. For 1 over 2, it has other name, which is called half. Half. 1 over 2 is also called half. Now, let's read next question together. Let's read next questions or next example together. Split a drawing paper into four equal sections. 
what is the fraction for the picture of a goat? Now we're going to find the clue. The clue are four equal sections. And the next clue is the word fraction. And the next clue is the picture of a goat. We have three clues here. The first one is four equal sections. The second one is the word fraction. And the third one is the picture of a goat. I'm going to explain what is the meaning of four equal section in the question. Four equal section means the equal parts of an object. Meaning that the paper is split into four equal parts as shown in the diagram on the top there. Alright. Next. How about the fraction of a goat? Fraction of a goat. This means the number or terms used for the shaded region of equal parts. Shaded region or the region that is wanted. I'm going to explain in bahasa. Fraction maksudnya kita kena cari apa fraction untuk gambar kambing tu. Ha. Okay. Berapa shaded region untuk gambar kambing. Ada berapa bahagian yang mempunyai gambar kambing daripada keempat-empat bahagian tu. I'm going to do the explanation next in the picture. Now, the drawing paper is said to be split into four equal parts. And there are four pictures on the paper. Picture of a goat, a squirrel, an elephant, and again a goat. So, the question want to ask you about the fraction of a goat. I mean the fraction of the goats. We have two goats here out of four parts. Two parts is filled with the picture of goats out of out of four parts. I'm going to explain in bahasa. Dua bahagian daripada keempat-empat tu diletakkan dengan gambar kambing. Daripada keempat-empat bahagian. Yang sama besar. Okay, dua bahagian diisi dengan gambar kambing daripada keempat-empat bahagian. Next. So, the fraction for the goat will be 2 over 4. We write number 2 on the top as the question 1, the fraction of a goat. So, we have two goats there. So we write number 2 over 4 because we have 4 equal parts here. So the fraction will be 2 over 4. 2 over 4 in words will be like this. Will be written like this. 2 over 4. 2 over 4. Now let's read the third example. We're going to read about. The third example. Yinling eats a quarter of the moon cake. What is the fraction of the moon cake that she eats? Now we're going to find the clue. The clue is the word, the clue are, the word quarter and the word fraction. The clue are the word quarter and the word fraction. The word quarter brings the meaning of one from four of the equal parts from an object. Quarter means one from four of the equal parts from an object. 
fraction means number or terms used for the shaded region of the equal parts. Number of term used for the shaded region of the equal parts. So, in the question is already give you the answer. The clue of the word quarter is actually give you the answer. So, the answer here for the number, number of the fraction can be written like this. 1 over 4. Number 1 over number 4 as number 4 is the equal parts of the moon cake. Number 1 is the part that she eats. So, 1 over 4. This is 1 over 4 in a word. 1 over 4 in the word will be written like this. 1 over 4. Again, 1 over 4 also brings the meaning of quarter. Quarter brings the meaning of 1 over 4. 1 over 4 brings the meaning of quarter. Right? So, from the question, actually, it already give you the clear clue about the answer. How you are going to write the answer? You can choose... Either you want to write the number 1 over 4 or you want to write it in the word 1 over 4. Or it's the best if you write both. You write 1 over 4 in number and you write 1 over 4 in words. Sangat bagus kalau awak tulis nombor dan tulis juga perkataan dia. That's very best if you do your work. By writing both of the numbers and the word. Alright? So, for today's task, you need to use your Mathematics Workbook Part 2. Do all questions on page 6, 7 and 8. Please write day and date on the top of page 6 only. Please write day and date on the top, page 6 only. Reminder. Please refer to your Google Classroom for further instructions. Please refer to your Google Classroom for further instructions. Well, girls, that's all for today. Thank you for joining today's class. See you next time. Goodbye.